Yes. If it was a portion of our help and our strength, for that father we thank you. Father, we thank you have a lot to thank you for. We thank you for the roof of our, our head. Amen. The clothes on our back, the food yeah. on our table. Amen. We thank you for our family right now, Father. Amen. Find us right now. I'm so close. These are trying times right now, yes. Father. We need you and we just can't get along without you. We pray right now for the sick and the shut in mm -hmm. all of this land and country. We pray for those that are dealing with all kind of health issues right now, Father. We can realize the trial of our dogs on their hands. Yes, that is what we term as devastation, death, or shooting, or killing, or whatever. Yes, but yes, we need to stay yes, focused yes. on you, Father. We need yes. to keep looking to the deals to come at our help. Because all our help, Father, comes through by you. And we're going to pray for your strong, thank you for your darling son, Jesus, who yes. made it all Amen. that the things that we endure in this life, all our successes and all our mm -hmm. failures, we owe it off to him. Yes, we do. Because he gave his life that yes. we yes. may have life and yes. have it more abundantly mm -hmm. than we only abide in this world. Yes. Yes. That the past you have set for us to live, Father, we need to live up to that past. We need to stay fresh, stay faith, faith, focused right now. Yes. Don't lose our direction of which way we need to travel. Yep. Because there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Yes. And that light is Jesus. He yes. is the light of the world. Yes. We just want to say thank you right thank now. We pray for those that are you know, out on your battlefield, preaching your word in season and out, telling the world about the wages of sin is death. And it forgive to use the eternal life, Father. Father, we pray right now to go behind the prison wall of this. Ask me for another change, right? Yes, yes. Because as long as we are in this flesh and body, we are going to make mistakes. Amen. And then you stand with our strength on and you forgive us and remember it no more. Father, yes. for that we thank you, Father. Thank you. As we go through this day, we hope we can do everything pleasable, acceptable in your sight. It's in Jesus' name we lift this prayer. Mm -hmm. And that's why I'm saying. Amen. 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 Amen.
we also can find in 1 Corinthians 16th chapter, verses 1 and 2. Not concerning the connection for the saints, as I gave orders to the churches of the late years, so also do you. On the first day of the week, and every one of you lay by him in store, as God has prospered you, that there will be no gathering when I come.
Jesus is my rock. Okay. Jesus is my rock, my rock, my sword and shield. He's the wheel. He's the wheel. In the middle of the wheel. Oh, he has a footstep. He has a footstep. He has a footstep. And he washed away all my tears. I'll tell you, Jesus. Jesus is my rock.
first time uh, at the National Lectureship. All right, and, um, you know, I never, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the message that I uh, preached out there, I haven't preached it here. Okay. So, and I've only mentioned in that only reason. <laughs> so, uh, I think it is out there on Facebook, you all can go and, you know, listen, you know, uh, to it along with the uh, other messages. I only mention that uh, because um, uh, uh, it's one that I, I believe all of us need to hear about. So when and let you know. All right now. So, all right, having said that, all right. let me call your attention this morning to Matthew's Gospel, chapter number seven. Matthew's Gospel, chapter number seven. And I want you to read verses 24 through verse number 27. 28. Matthew chapter number 7, verse 24 through verse number 27. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the rain blew, and beat upon that house, uh -huh. and it failed, for it, and it failed not, for it was founded upon a rock. Uh -huh. And every one that heareth these sayings of mine, and doeth them not, shall be likened unto a foolish man, uh -huh. which built his house. Upon the same. Uh -huh. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the wind blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell, and great was uh -huh. the fall of it. Yes, and it came to pass, when Jesus had ended these saying, uh -huh. the people were astonished at his. For he taught them mm -hmm. as one having authority Amen. and not as one of uh, the scratch. All right. I want to speak from the subject this morning. What doesn't matter today will matter tomorrow. Mm -hmm. What doesn't matter today will matter tomorrow. The lesson before us is the concluding message of Jesus' sermon on the mount. Jesus had taught them in such a way that the Bible says that the people were astonished at his doctrine. All right. It was not that Jesus entertained them but rather it was what he taught All right. was as one with authority. Uh -huh. Because Jesus basically said to them, it is either my way or else it is the highway. Right. Right. Listen to it in Matthew chapter 7 and verse number 13. He says, enter ye in at the straight gate. For wide is the great, and broad is the way, which leadeth to destruction, uh -huh. and there be many mm -hmm. uh -huh. which go in their way. Right. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way, uh -huh. which leadeth unto life, and there be few that find it. Jesus had them to know that I am the only way of salvation. Mm -hmm. But listen to the Bible in John chapter number 6 and verse number 44. Okay. Jesus said, No man can come to me except the Father that sent me draw him, and I will raise him up at the last day. 
and it is written in the prophets mm. that they all shall be taught of God. Mm -hmm. He therefore that has heard and learned of the Father mm -hmm. coming unto me. Right. Listen to him in John 14 and verse number 6. Jesus said, I am the way. Not a, a way, Come on. but I am the way, the truth and the life. Mm -hmm. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Okay. So in this particular sermon, Jesus is going to end his message mm -hmm. by saying to them that it is important that we not only hear his word, but that we do what he has said. You see, there is a difference between calling on Jesus' name and doing what Jesus has said. Listen to him in Matthew chapter 7 and verse number 21. He says, For everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall not enter into the kingdom of God. Okay. But he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. So now notice, he said now, just listen to me. He said, for many shall come to me in that day and say, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? Mm -hmm. Have we not cast out devils in thy name? Mm -hmm. And in thy name we have done many wonderful work. Uh -huh. He said, Then I shall say unto them, Depart from me. I never knew you. He worked that up in the name So what are you saying, Jesus? Mm -hmm. It's one thing to hear his word, yes. uh -huh. but it's another thing to do, do. what he has said. Right. I remember seven songs of Stephen in Acts chapter number 19 and verse number 13. The Bible says that there were certain vagabond Jews, uh -huh. exorcists, who took upon themselves to call over the people that had evil spirit okay. the name of Jesus. Uh -huh. And they said, I adjure you uh -huh. by the Jesus whom Paul preached. Yes. You know, when it comes to serving God, you can't serve God for in the name of other folk. You really can't. You have to serve God for yourself. Okay. But now notice what the evil spirit said to them. Mm. Now the Bible says these were the seven sons of Stephen, a Jew and chief of the priest. And the Bible said that the evil spirit said, mm. Jesus, I know. Come on. Paul, I know. Uh -huh. But who are you? Ain't that something? Well, when it comes to serving God, we have to hear and do what God has said yes. for our sake. Amen. Amen. How do you know it, preacher? Uh -huh. Listen to the book. All right. In Luke chapter number 6 and verse number 46, Jesus said, why call you me Lord, Lord, mm -hmm. and do not the things that I say? Mm -hmm. Listen to him in Luke chapter 18 and verse, not in Luke chapter 11 and verse number 28. Mm -hmm. The Bible said, and he said, yea, rough, blessed is the man mm -hmm. that hear the word mm -hmm. and keep it. That's it. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Watch this now. If we want to be blessed, not only God do we have to hear the word, but we have to keep the word yes, or do what the word has told us to do. Amen. Listen to the book in James chapter number one and verse number 22. 
The Bible said, let us be doers of the word and not, and not hear us from it. Amen. For if any man be a hearer mm -hmm. and not a doer, he is as a man, yeah. beholding his natural face in the ground. Uh -huh. In other words, you walk down to the mirror, uh -huh. you look in the mirror, what you, ain't doing you see what needs to be fixed in the mirror, mm -hmm. but then you turn and walk away from the mirror. Yeah. And That's the Bible it. says that he forgets. What manner of man he was. Yes. But he said, Whosoever looketh into the perfect law of liberty mm -hmm. and continueth therein, yes. that man not being a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the word, shall be what? Blessed in his deed. Deed. Yes. So Jesus says to them, Not only do you need to hear the word, but you also need to do what the word Amen. has said. Okay. But then Jesus is going to tell a parable. And in the Bible, the Bible oftentimes uses metaphor yes, sir. in order to teach us. Yes, sir. You remember in Galatians chapter number 6 and verse number 7, the Bible uses an agricultural Metaphor. Yes, sir. For then it says, Be not deceived. God is not caught. Mm -hmm. But as a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Now, in the lesson this morning, Jesus is going to use an architectural mm -hmm. metaphor. In other words, he's going to talk about two builders. Now, he's not going to talk about the house, Come on. but he's only going to deal with the foundation. Now, I'm going to try to listen. I want us to come real close okay. because I'm going to give what we often focus on, which is the secondary application. All right. And then I want to tell us what is the primary application. All right. Now Jesus is basically going to teach about the importance of building on a strong foundation. Yes, sir. Now, not the carpenters and those who have built them Come on. that are happy mm -hmm. is only as strong mm -hmm. as this foundation. Mm -hmm. And now before you can build up Huh. You have to be up there. Yes, sir. But now when Jesus told this here, Jesus said, now the wise man is the one who hears my word and he does it. Yeah. it. Well, he's like a man who built his house upon the rock. Yeah. Now I want you to notice what he said. He said the rain descended the floods came and the wind blew and it beat up on their house and it fell not Amen. because it was built on a rock. Right. But now he said the foolish man Help us. built his house upon the sand. Uh -huh. The same rain descended. Uh -huh. The same floods came. Yes, sir. The same wind blew, mm -hmm. and the house fell, and great was the fall of it. Yes. Yes. Now, I got a question, Chuck. Come on now. Will a man go out and intentionally build up his house uh, upon a foundation uh -huh. that will not lay? No, he won't. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. this now. All right. Because when we get ready to be up, uh -huh. we know when they have them come mm -hmm. and they use equipment. Yes, sir. Such as a backhoe yeah. to actually be. Okay. Then once they set the phone, now I'm not a faculty now. Uh -huh. Once they set the phone and uh, put the beams out, uh, some of you carpenters in trying to help me out. Okay. Once they set the foundation, they call the concrete truck right, and they bring the, the cement. cement. 
Because what I want to do, I want to look at the text and I want to give some application. First, I am going to give what is the secondary application, the one that we normally give, and then I'm going to give the primary intention uh -huh. of Jesus in this text. Yeah, right. Normally, when we talk to folk, we say to them, build your house on Jesus and his <laughs> principle. That's it. Well, then it comes real close. All right, now. <laughs> we said that if you build your house Bless you. on Jesus and his principle, you will be prosperous and you will be successful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me share something with you. Come on now. There are some things that happen in life. Yes, Lord. Will happen. Whether you are a saint yeah. or a sinner. Yeah. Yeah. Well, then, well, then, watch this now. Because notice something here. Both the one who built his house on the rock mm -hmm. and the one who built his house on the sand, mm -hmm. both of them experience. The same thing. Yes, sir. The rain, the flood, and the wind. The wind. The wind. Yes, sir. It reminds me of what Job said yes. in Job 14. 1. He said, Man that is born of a woman yes. is all but a few days, and they are full of trouble. Uh -huh. But let me share with you how where we get in trouble. Yep. And it is with our definition. Of success. Mm -hmm. Because if we define success in terms of what we get down here, if we define success in terms of status, economic status, popularity, all down here, uh -huh. there are people who have all of that who do not name the name of. Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Wait a minute, wait a minute, come real close. On the flip side, Help us. you can be a child of God uh -huh. and still bad things will happen to you yes. in your life. Yes. And you can pray to God and God will decide in his providence this time. You start preparing for it. No, you don't. You start 
The problem with the algebra skill is that they did not learn the math. That's it. That they should have learned. That's it. And the problem with the math is that they did not learn the arithmetic uh -huh. when they should have learned the Jesus Christ. Yes, yes. 
For a 
chapter 10. Right. Verse number 4. And they drink of that rock which followed them. And that rock was Christ. Yes. Listen, listen. Get in Christ. Obey the gospel. Yeah. Because let me share this with you. Being good yeah. is not good enough. Amen. You have to be well in Amen. Christ. Yes. And church is not enough for us. To just come together Amen. and not do what God has told us to do. Amen. How do we get in the church? We have a gospel. How Jesus died, how he was buried, how, how he rose again the third day. We believe that with all of our heart, we repent of our sin. We confess Jesus Christ. And then we are baptized into his church. And once we get in there, we got to do. And it's going to be some hard work. It is. I want to close by on telling you all two, two things. Because sometimes people say, you know what? I was this or I was that. And I was able to put it down. Just like that. That's great. That's, That's good. That's but now listen, sometimes what you pick up, yeah. it's going to take hard work mm -hmm. to put it down. That's yeah. it, brother. But you got to hit that uh -huh. and say, I picked it up, and with God's help, Amen. I'm going to put it down. Yeah. When Papa Flowers got up this morning and sang our song, it freed up my heart. Because I just thought, how in the world? I made him see that song. <laughs> because in my conclusion, uh -huh. I want to tell you about one of the, what they call the Jubilee Singers. Uh -huh. He was a student at Fisk University. Uh -huh. yeah. He had his wife got aboard a steamboat. Uh -huh. And the boat called uh -huh. that that's it. And get in the water. The man had not enough to fix life preservers for both he and his wife. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. But when they got in the water, mm -hmm. somebody was so frantic mm -hmm. that they took his wife's life preserver mm -hmm. from her. So she's not there anymore. Mm -hmm. Don't have a life preserver. So she clapped her arms around her husband's shoulder. Because yeah. he couldn't stop and take his off Come on, man. and give it to her. Yeah. So here they are swimming in the water. Yeah. But the wife got tired. She, she cried to her. I'm tired. Uh -huh. I can't go on much longer. Sometimes you get tired. Yeah. And say, I can't go on much longer. Uh -huh. But he told Yes, Just a little while ago. Yeah. He yeah. said, let us start singing a song. Okay. He said, let us start singing rock and roll. Yeah. And they started faithfully singing yeah. rock, rock.
and we are not on the mark. Yes, you are here Sunday to us call. Won't you come right now? Why are we saying? Why are we saying? Won't you come? Just let me come right on that shore. Sisters, I am one parent who is guilty of do you do right and right to follow. Y'all pray for me because I brought my children up on that and I just learned today that I shouldn't do that. So I'm asking y'all to pray for me on that. Even though I call myself raising them with the word in it, in them, and I know what you're saying, Brother Billy Mo, the content in which you which the foundation is based on, is built from, is what's gonna make it stand, not just the foundation by itself. So I'm asking you all to pray for me because I might have started out with good content, but I don't know where that now because I've been looking for my daughter. I don't pray like I used to. I'm keeping it real. I don't pray right. like I used to. Okay. And I'm up in the morning rising my son up and don't I'm asking every day what to do to raise a boy. Right. So y'all pray for me that my foundation be on God's word in the way God needs to be for us to be able to be all right in the future. Amen.
takeaway from that today is your foundation built right. Uh-huh. All right now. Or your foundation built wrong. All right. All right now. Lastly, I usually give you something on the way out, but I'm gonna get it to you now. Okay. <laughs> Being good is not good enough. I just learned that. We did. We did today. That's right. Stay connected with rock. Yes, Lord. It's important for us. Yes, Lord. It's important for us because we will face storms next week. All right. But it's important for us to stay connected to the world. Announcements for today. Please join the mentoring program Tuesday evening, beginning at 6.30 p.m. for the category Chaos. All sisters are asked to please come prepared next Sunday to remain for a short meeting to begin planning our 25th Ladies' Day program to be held Sunday, Saturday, Saturday, September 16th. <laughs> it's your fault. <laughs> Our first Sunday, ladies, Bible class will be held next Sunday, July the 2nd, beginning at 5 30 p.m. Sister Barbara Davis from the Bluff Road Church of Christ. Our Fabula will be the guest speaker of the theme. Keeping a strong core. Yeah. Yeah, Mama will honor the class of 2023 graduates in a graduation celebration Amen. Saturday, July the 29th at 6 p.m. at the Rural Community House. More information is forthcoming. Dear <laughs> my sisters, please mark and say the date September, Saturday, September the 16th. The votes are in. They are my 20th year ladies theme. What are we handing down to the generation coming after us? Mm-hmm. Psalm 14, 145, verses 4 through 7. Speakers will be our very own Tanya Calhoun yeah. and Sister Geneva Jackson from the Boulevard Church of Christ. Yeah. Yeah. The man. The colors are pink and black. Yes, Lord. A Ladies Day luncheon will be held at the Rural Community House from 11 to 1.30. Please continue to keep all sick and shut in in prayer. Please continue to keep all bereaved families in prayer. Last announcement. Church of Christ 21st Annual Ladies Day Program, 704 Church Street, Delzona, Mississippi. Brother Charles Bowler is the minister. We, the sisters of the Church of Christ, want to extend an invitation to you. We are welcoming your presence at our 21st Annual Ladies' Day program held on Saturday, October the 14th, 2023. We'll begin the program with registration. We'll begin at 815 with a self-serve continental breakfast at 9 p.m. You're going to have a blessed week. Stay connected to the world. Amen. 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 While we are standing, it is once again good to see everybody here with us while we are standing. While we are standing. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it looks low, but we get it. I do want to express appreciation to Brother Tony Cooper for yeah. the, Amen. Uh, a wonderful job. Amen. And I look, thank all of you all so much for being here. Pray, uh, pray for us. We are about to start. We are in the final stages of actually getting ready to start building our foundation Amen. for uh, for the bills. Please, please, please keep us in Amen. Yes, prayer. Sir. Amen. Please do. Next week, if it's the Lord's will, and I don't change my back. Okay. Uh, I'm going to speak on on uh, something that I I want all of us to uh, first. But first of all, join in the win tonight Bible class. Yeah. But next week I am going to speak on a subject: why we sing in the Church of Christ and do not play. Okay. Why we sing in the Church of Christ and do not play musical instruments Amen. in the Lord's church. Amen. Amen.
Amen. That's what we are going to look at Amen. next Sunday morning. Because it's important for all of us to emphasize that we all need to join in. Yes, and we all need to sing. Amen. I want to pray for all of our young folks who will be traveling. Amen. Pray for all of them going, going, going to school. Pray for everybody. Let's have our closing song and our closing prayer. Look, thank y'all. Right, thank y'all. Okay. Still have joy, my Lord. I still have joy.